Hey everyone, it's Warren Taffa. And I usually talk about men's grooming, fashion, health, and just general life tips for my boys and even girls out there. So if that's what you're into, then go ahead and like and, and subscribe for sure for more videos just like this one. Today we'll be talking about the science of smelling good and feeling good. If you go over my previous videos, you see how passionate I am about perfume and colognes. One key thing I have to stress with you today, skin chemistry. You know the smell people usually remember you by, right? And of course, we want them to have a good memory of our body scent. <laughs> you might have a favorite cologne or perfume, but what I tell you today might just be a game changer for you. I'm not sure if you notice, but there is this thing that happens with perfume or cologne. It smells different depending on who's wearing it. I mean, sure, it has the base notes, the mid notes, the top notes it was originally created with, but there's this thing that happens when a perfume smells divine on one person but not so much on the other. That's one of the first things that every fragrance newbie should know about the smell of perfumes and cologne. It varies depending on who wears it and their skin chemistry. You might be thinking, Warren, you've been talking all about skin chemistry, but what the hell even is that? Skin chemistry is the chemical behavior of the skin, simple. And it varies from person's diet, their skin type, their environment, and even medications. Also, not that your skin chemistry can change over time. It definitely can be changed as you age, as you modify your lifestyle, and even your diet. You might not believe me, but think about it. When we sweat, we excrete moisture to cool us down, and our sweat has a scent. So your skin is often producing scents already without you even knowing it. Sneaky skin. An interaction with your cologne will make a huge difference. Now, what does this have to do with wearing your favorite cologne? Now that you know the gist of skin chemistry, your skin modifies the character of the fragrance in a good or bad way. This is why two people wearing the same cologne, they smell differently despite controlling other variables. With that, let's now talk about the science behind it. And later on, we'll talk about the art, including the perfect scent for you. So make sure you stay until the end. Stay tuned in until the end. Our bodies secrete a substance called pheromones, and it often determines, hmm, how perfume will react with that body's chemistry. These pheromones are what we can call a person's natural scent. These substances that your body produces attributes to your own unique smell. Think about it. So when you wear cologne, think of it as layering another scent over the one you already have. And when it comes to layering, no matter if it's clothing, perfume, or jewelry, compatibility matters. The way you layer your perfume over your authentic scent can either do good for you or not so well. Another thing to definitely consider when wearing cologne is sweating. Depending on your lifestyle, if you're active and where you reside, sweat and perspiration can vary from person to person to person to person. One perfume might do better in air conditioned settings, while another can be great for morning runs. Lastly, and as I already mentioned earlier, your diet and your lifestyle can also affect your natural scent. So really, man, the most important thing here is to try and try until you find the one or two that's for you. Listen, now that we talked about skin chemistry and how it affects how fragrances smell on you, let's now talk about finding the perfect scent for you. The main thing to remember here is to try on perfume samples. And when I mean try, I mean try it on your skin and do a wear test. The thing is the perfume might smell good for you when it's sprayed on the air or even on paper. But like we talked about, that smell changes when it touches your skin. So please do not be quick to buy a big full size cologne because you like how it smells right out the bottle. There's no shame in purchasing smaller size bottles, sample bottles, and even doing a wear test. So you can do a wear test. A wear test is important too, because I told you earlier, sweat plays a big part, man. So before you head over to your favorite store and buy that much raved about perfume you heard on TikTok, Try it on their skin first, man. Try it on your skin first. Plus, it's also important to take notes on the ingredients on your preferred cologne. Certain ingredients in a fragrance may react differently with your skin chemistry, causing the scent to change. For example, a cologne that has a lot of citrus notes may smell more acetic, will smell more acetic on someone with a higher skin pH level, while it may smell, while it smells sweeter on someone with a lower pH level. So it's just all about knowing your skin. It's important to find a cologne or fragrance that works well with your skin chemistry because you want to feel confident and comfortable in the scent that you choose. If a fragrance does not smell right on your skin, you may feel self, you will feel self-conscious or uncomfortable wearing it, which can negatively impact your overall confidence 
and just enjoying the fragrance, right? Like I said, cologne is does the same thing to the nose, music does to the ears. They're all senses. A general tip to note is your skin can also affect the longevity of your perfume. Colognes and perfume cling better well to moisturize and evenly oil skin. So if you know you have dry skin, oh man, you got to apply lotion first, even before wearing that fragrance. Make sure it's on fragrance lotion though. It's also best to test out new scents when your body's at its most regular state. I'm talking regular state. As I already mentioned earlier, medications definitely change your skin chemistry. So when you use lotions, unscented lotion before you spray cologne, it helps it last longer. The journey to finding the best cologne for you will be full of trials and error. But trust me, when I say it will be worth it, it will be worth it. It's amazing how um, something as simple as scent can be changed just depending on your body. So it's always best to take care of yourself from the inside out and get to know your body and how it works. When your style and smell is at its best, you feel good and you look good and you get something good in return. I hope you learned something new from today's video and make sure to share this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Warren out.